Hello, Cancer and Crosswatchers alike. This is your mid-February to March reading. This current year. And sick, and I am also late with putting these out. My apologies, but fucking whatever. It's, it's, it's 28 days in February. So technically I'm not in the middle yet. But I am close enough. Cancer, this is for the sign in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. This resonates with you? Cool. If not, you just... Boop your nose, away it goes, no point in worrying about shit that ain't about you, it ain't none of your damn business, unless you're nosy and you like the gossip, and that's what we're all here for, right? Right. You want a personal read? Info's down in the description box below. Help yourself if you wish. Make yourself at home. Um, I also like saying dirty words, so if you don't like dirty words, it's... I don't know how to tell you, man. I have no idea. <laughs> Cancer? I feel like there's a sense of regret here. Like, you have the world as your beginning theme. But this world fucks me up a little bit, because it's like... It's like people chain being sacrificed to a monster, to their fate, how things are going to end and come to be, and it's like... Like, did it already have one dead body? Mind you, this is Saturn's card, so it's kind of, like, crazy looking, too. I just feel like it's kind of, like, almost like a tragic end to the world in the sense of the deck, if you will. Like, something's, like, coming to an abruption, it seems like. Right? So, Cancers and Crosswatchers. This is what I got for you, right? We got the Queen of Wands reversed right here. Like, ooh, that's my... Rhonda the Honda, I love her. Husband's starting it up so we can run her for a minute. But yeah, like, look at, like, we got, like, this bitch right here. Usually she looks like a gentle soul, but this time she's just being, like, man, controlling. Um, I feel like not paying attention. Like, Marie Antoinette, you know, when, like, Marie Antoinette, Antoinette, when people think that she said, let them eat cake, but she never actually said that, and I don't know where that came from. I don't think, I'm not sure if anybody ever figured out where that, uh, idea came from, but I think what it is is, like, they assumed that she said something similar to that during, like, a really bad time, but it was also like, oh, uh, when did she say that? Well, she was trying to escape from France and responsibilities, because she died because she was a traitor, pretty much, you know? But, um... You know, she was kind of like somebody who was like really young, wasn't paying attention to the world, or the world that she married into, which mind you, which isn't entirely her fault, she kind of just became a victim of the processes of everything that happened around her, like French, the France was going through a resolution, or not a resolution, a revolution, um, the people were revolting, I think France is just that one country that was just like, you know what, we're just going to murder everybody we think is important. We don't care. Like, they've already done it once, so they have no problems doing it again if necessary, you know? But, because she and her husband were so enthralled with the happy little world that they were living in that they didn't really pay attention to how everything was going on. They spent extravagant amounts of money that was meant for the country of France. Neither of them really realizing that's not how ruling a country works, which a lot of people blame them for, but, you know, this isn't really their fault, and neither of them are really raised to understand this. Her husband, whoever, whoever the fuck he was, um, he kind of, like, came into the power just out of an inconvenient death more than he did, um, anything else. He just kind of happened to become king. And then he married her. And because neither of them were really ex exceptionally trained nor entirely willing to uh, put in the work to be better rulers to help somewhat alleviate, if not prevent, but I doubt there was any prevention with the revolu revolution. So, you know, I'm kind of speculating a bit here, and I know this is a really long history lesson, but this is what it kind of reminds me of. This is like how people think that Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake, but it was really based off the fact that she, she just didn't know better if she did say it. 
And even if she did, she was talking from a position where she really didn't see um, the accumulation of what she and her husband were doing to the country as well as the people as the revolt started happening, right? So, let's continue with this reading now that we're done with a little bit of a, a very shittily explained history lesson, right? Right. So, anyway. Down below in the situation, we got the lovers with the page of swords, right? And, like, look at this. It's kind of like um, these two people are just looking at each other like, you know what, your tits are small and they're really hideous looking and your hair is greasy. Like, yeah, well, you have a butterfly for a penis. Oh, that's a good one, Susie. <laughs> you know, like, just going back and forth arguing with each other over dumb shit. Someone's trying to figure out why this isn't working between the two people. Honestly, Cancer, I think I'm going to name yours like, um... Wrong favorite person. I think would be a good name for yours for some reason. Anyway, um, in the wants and wishes, we have the Hermit right here. No, okay, like, look at, check this out, right? I literally thought it was, like, a, a, an umbrella hat with a des weird design on it, and I literally sat here when I first looked at this card and was like, that is such a Virgo fucking thing to wear, and then I realized, oh, no, he's tapping into the universe. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Sorry. But someone's having into the universe to understand a deeper meaning of why they have so much regret going on with them that they can't get over. It's like something's lingering. Something's um, soaking up your sunshine and you don't like it too well, I feel. To the point where it's like bothering you pretty great, man. Like. Hmm. Which I'm not entirely sure I understand why that would be. That's why I'm thinking it's got to be have something to do with another person. Right? Down below in the obstacles and challenges. Uh, Six of Cups. Reverse. There's something about like these two people from the past. Their cheeks aren't as rosy. And they're kind of looking like, can we stop smiling now, Dad? Like, it's boring. My cheeks are red from hurtness, not from cuteness, right? Something seemed a little bit unfair. Or someone wasn't getting their dues. Maybe it's this person who's looking for the information. I don't know. Which is kind of strange, you know? Like, the person that, like, who's giving, they're giving to the person who uh, it looks like they have nothing and leave them with regret. Whereas the person with the red in their pocket, they're very curious about. I feel like words were said that weren't meant to be said, but I'm not sure. Nah. Oh well. Let's see. Fears and rejections. We have the Five of Wands. Look at all of this beauty coming together in the conflict. I feel like what is afraid? That through the conflict something beautiful would have came out that would have helped them get out of the cold. Like, there was maybe a fight you should have had or something. Didn't I tell you guys that at one point? Like, avoiding the fight is what started the fight? Like, there was a reading like that I know I did once for you guys. I can't remember. It wasn't that long ago, but I remember saying something like that. Like, fighting would have brought something. But it was avoiding that conflict that caused the conflict to pop up or whatever, right? I mean, it's almost like you're recognizing that that's a, almost like a condition or some shit, right? Like, there had to be some conflict somewhere. How shit starts, how it'll end. Having to walk away from a situation you no longer have love from, I feel like. But it's almost like you've been doing it for a while. Like, you look like a hobo in this picture when it's reversed, you know? Just a little bit. It's got you feeling with regret. It's like, I'm tired of being a fucking hobo. I just want a house. I mean, Cancer, you are the sign of pretty much the home and shit, I think. I think. I'm probably wrong. Don't at me, bro, but I think that's what it is. I think that you're the sign of the house, the home, and all that shit. I mean, there are cups and pentacles out here, but they don't seem very, um... Satisfying, I will say, if that's the proper way to put it, y'all.
It's not as awesome as what you thought it would be. In this energy and vibration, Cancer and Cross Watchers. Queen Mar Marie Antoinette and her happiness just got her head lopped off. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's like being left in the cold once again. Um, and now it feels like you're definitely overburdened by that, too. Down in the situation below where like two people just stopped getting along, someone wants to know why. Someone wants to know why Cancers and Cross Watchers. Because um, they're perfectly fine being by themselves, being single, working on themselves, Nine of Pentacles. Like someone gets joy being alone, basically. Could be you or your person, whichever one you resonate with, right? Yeah, and it's like, ugh, what? I'm driving one more on that one, because that's like, hmm. Like, was somebody distracting themselves from this conflict? Because she has her back turned while this dude over here is just running around with foxes all hyped up on Mountain Dew. Just being like, hello! Like, there's more foxes than there are wands. Like, it, like that's just crazy to me. And I think they're fighting bunnies? Or something. I'm not fucking sure. It's just a bunch of nonsense. It's like... They wanted someone to let their guard down or some shit. Like... Hmm... It's like you're avoiding conflict until you can let your guard down, possibly. But I also feel like having that up... Or, like, um... You know, like, if you... It, it's one thing to want to avoid conflict, but if you're purposely avoiding somebody... As a form of fighting back, you know, like, act, per, like not giving them the time of day in order to get under their skin or bother them or whatnot and shit. Like, you know, you can't expect the person to open up with that. You really can't. Um, and I feel like somebody, either you or the person you're dealing with, Cancers and Cross Watchers, thought that I think ignoring the situation was combat enough to try to get the guard down? Or at least that's what I'm trying to get out of that, because that's what it seems like. I don't know, they were just ignoring it altogether. Because it's just like, I'm not letting my guard down until like this conflict is behind me. Wants and wishes with, what is this again? The Hermit! Try to figure out or go inside to be at one with the universe to figure out why you got regrets and shit. It's like, it, it, this has been working over time. Wheel of Fortune. This has been for, going on for a while, it seems like, with this person. Cancer and Cross Watchers. You know. What? It makes them feel defeated after a while? Were you wrong about your adversary? Because I did say, like, feels like wrong favored person. It's like after a time, it's like someone's coming after you or some shit and everything you want and owned and loved or something. Or did you think this person was going to come back to finish the job? Because Jesus Christ, dude. That's a bit much. Well, then one more on that one, too, because that's like, whoa. Oh, yeah, it's got you, like, just focused on that vortex. Like, uh It's almost like you keep reliving it, dude, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing for you to do, you know? It's like, mmm. Like, you know, I don't think that's healthy. 
The Cancer, you have a hard time getting over shit to begin with sometimes, too. Like, you'll hold a grudge and you'll mean it. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just kind of bothersome to me because it's like. It's like whoever this person was, it's like they carry this regret with them because it's like. Almost like they didn't see something right or correct or whatever. Anyway, down below in the obstacles and challenges, cancer. What's this again? Six of Cups reverse with the Six of Pentacles. Reverse. Nobody was happy because no one was being fair. Like the person you didn't give the time of day to or the balance to, right? The one with the red in their pocket? Um Seems like you definitely knew them for longer. Six of Cups again. This is like you didn't give them the time of day. Or they didn't give you the time of day. They just ignored it. But it was almost like a form of like fighting back, too. It was just like, I'm going to ignore you. It make you feel like you're not important. Until, like, you know, I feel like it's safe for me to let my guard down or some shit like that. Or you could have possibly done this Cancer and Crosswatch or whichever the case, you know? And broke people's hearts. Mm. Yeah, Cancer, I think you're sitting here thinking, you know, like, maybe you weren't fair to somebody or they weren't fair to you for sure. But, like, whoever this is in this situation... Um, they're recognizing they can give a person who I feel like they should have been loyal to the chance they needed, or they didn't give them a chance, period, or didn't think they deserved it, and that just led, led to breaking hearts, possibly both of y'all's, at the same time. Alright, fears or rejections, five of wands with this five of the coin, or pentacle. Uh, let's see. What did I say this was? Oh, yeah. Something beautiful could have came out of this conflict if it would have happened the way it was supposed to. And it would have helped people get out of the cold. But, you know, someone ignored trying to, like, um, deal with the situation. As a form of conflict, I feel like it. Yeah. Three cups reverse. Might have been some nasty gossiping. Or just bitchery going around, or people just fell out of sync with each other, you know? Yeah, it, it, it just killed it. Like, all, all that shit circulating. Bad waters, bad currents just killed everything for sure. Ugh, sorry if I sound nasally, I'm just sick. And I'm sick of being sick already. Let's see. Eight of Cups with the Five of Cups. I could easily make... Three of Cups reverse, like up here, which is probably what you're regretting. If we just added them without paying attention to which ones were reversed, it'd be like the Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups between two people. So it's just kind of like, eh, it's all about like, how you got along with a person before, how happy you were, and now it's like, eh, I leave this behind and it makes me sad. Could have been with a Capricorn, the Devil card, or it could have just been a bad combo between you and another person. Like I was saying earlier, wrong favorite person. So, but yeah, I don't think it was. I don't think it was good. Capricorns been showing their ass up everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and some secrets come out because of that. Ooh, I want to know. I want to know what kind of secrets could be you, Cancer. That's like giving them out because that is your card. Also, with Pisces. Uh, there is no oh, harmony, basically, or nothing in sync with y'all to grow from it or whatever. It's like, nah, there's no union here whatsoever. Yeah. It starts with this world where it's like, it's really, really dark. Almost like Rocky Horror Picture Show-esque. But not in the cool way. More like if Quentin Tarantino directed it. 
Um, someone doesn't feel like an empress. Someone might be a very bitter empress. Could be <coughs> Taurus, Libra, uh, Aries as well. Might be a potential offer here, though. Let's clarify everything, Cancer. Jesus fucking Christ. Whoever you're dealing with is either you or the person you're dealing with. It's kind of like they're just now figuring out that, you know, uh, everyone's been getting this, actually. Like, um... Whoever they were trusting or whatnot, or some shit, or whoever they thought they were connecting to is, like, wrong favorite person. It's like... There's no clicking here, or something doesn't come together correctly, right? So let's see about this vibration where you feel like you're overburdened by being left out in the cold here. This person walked away, and it just left the other person like, oh. Hey! <coughs> 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 There's still juice in the cup. Damn it. I didn't mean to knock it all over. You know, feeling like you know, maybe the door's still open even though they went away. Or something. It's just like, you know, they're getting on a boat. They're leaving. And the door's still open. But it's like the person walked away and the other person just focused on the cups. And it's just like, yes, it's the eight of cups. It might be you. As a hobo years later or maybe it was you who walked away and you're still walking you're still walking and that person's just sitting there staring at it like what the fuck okay but like, there's still a door open even though everyone's taken off it's like the bitch got married to somebody else still waiting to throw the bouquet just for you or you could be doing this to somebody else can't be cross watcher whichever one you want to go with right right all right down in the situation below where someone just ignored conflict as a form of, like, fighting back. Oh, dear. Oh, there's the Empress. Let's see. Cancer, that might be you. You might not know how to use the Google in order to get back into, like, happy times. Right? Let's see. Might be a little bit bitter and upset, or this person's bitter and upset. They need to go inside and figure out that all they've been doing is making excuses for why someone or even you should run back home or whatever. But then someone comes and finds out some secrets. The secrets entailing that things did not work out the way that they thought they had set them up to be. Like the, the fucking sword's crooked. It's a chocolate coin. It's not a real coin. The cup has, like, fucking beer in it, not wine. Which, you know. Um, the stick's been set on fire several times with some duct tape. Like, whatever the investment was, it wasn't enough. Or someone was too lazy to take consideration into their plans. Let's see. Wants and wishes. Times pass and someone feels like they're defeated by an invader. And that is driving them insane. That's always nice. Not really. I'm being sarcastic. Yeah, so, like, someone can't let that shit go for their peace of mind at all. They can't. Could be with a Sagittarius, of course. Someone can't let go that someone didn't make an offer. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I needed that lap. Okay, so... Let me get this straight. This person... This individual feels more defeated... At the fact that someone did not come crawling back... That's kind of creepy. Okay! We'll draw one more on that, because I'm very curious now, because it's just like, what the fuck? That is... That's... Cancer, you need to get away from this person. <laughs> like, you dodged a bullet, I'll say. You dodged a bullet, because it's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, because justice came into play. Like, someone actually weighed the cost, you know? 
But they're still mad at the fact that, you know, like, someone didn't come back and offer something. Let's see. Like, they're expecting you to do something. Obstacle and challenge. Back, this person from back in the day broke their heart, broke your heart, and maybe you all came to learn to agree to some shit or come together at some point in time. Or maybe that's what you need to try to do. Um... Or are you or the person you're dealing with using that as an excuse to try to hang on to this person as an excuse? Is that what's going on here? Like, is this the, the case of wrong favorite person? And the person you've come to collab and make a world with is your excuse for heartbreak? Or that's their excuse, Cancer and Crosswatcher? Because, like, no matter how much y'all try to deliberate shit, you're not coming out of this conflict. Let's see. Fears and rejections that all <coughs> the fucking bitchery led to the end of shit. <coughs> I feel like gossip was at play here, too. Especially with the Three of Cups in this deck. It's kind of like it is with my Starman deck, where it's just like, just bitches gathering together to talk nonsense. I feel like a lot of gossiping, you know? Um, yeah, so there is some desire to not end this. And someone will do anything about it to keep it that way, to stop things from changing abruptly or whatnot, right? This is a bad idea. <laughs> this is a shoot myself in the foot kind of idea. I don't think that's the best idea I've heard in a while. Oh no, not at all. No, not at all. I should start total end, Cancer and Cross Watcher. Um, might be a Capricorn here, might be you here in a Pisces, but it's like, someone's getting out of this bad relationship, when the secrets come out, when someone finally reveals what they know, about the disharmony, and all this other shit, like, something might be revealed to you about why you're not in, possibly, this partnership up here. Or, maybe something will come out that, like, this partnership's no longer available, even though it still looks like that. Who be dinging my ass? Oh, okay. That's probably not going to be communicated for a while, I'll feel like. Or at least that's how I feel about it anyway. not going to be communicated. I'll leave that on there, but I'm going to draw another two, because I don't think that really counted cancer, okay? Okay. So anyway, let's see. Yeah, the lack of communication or even communication is probably driving you crazy and making you mean and shit, or making somebody mean, because it's like, how do I get all my ducks in a row? Or, you're upset because <laughs> the other person looks better than you. Like, you got the Empress Reverse over here, but we have the Empress Upright right here, and it's just like, hmm. Like, someone's being driven crazy by the fact that, like, the other person is doing so well, Cancer Cross Watcher. I don't know who that is to you, but it's somebody here. Maybe it was the favorite person you had before, or maybe it's their favorite person, and, like, they threw you into their crazy nonsense bullshit. And now it's like, what the fuck? So now you gotta go and you gotta be the Empress and, like, figure yourself out, because I don't think this person's going to. I think this person almost wants to blame you for a lot of shit, Cancer. And I don't think that's a good idea. Like, look at their world. It's bleak and shit. Right? Right. Alright, so, that's your reading. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, you ain't got to if you don't want to. Greatly appreciate it. Bang, bang, bang. You guys have a good morning. I will see you later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.